Peace, 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 your brother abundant, transformation, body, mind, and soul. This audio book is called The Art of Love. What I study now is love, the pure form of love. I sat back and I didn't understand like what love was really about. But through this transformation, it was a beautiful thing because it wasn't about being in love with a female. It wasn't about being in love with your kids, your friends. It was about being in love with yourself and your heavenly father at the same time. That love I thought never existed and I thought would never happen. Through the transformation, all that happened. I remember the first time I ever made a transformation and I never even knew it. I was locked up for child support for three and a half months out here. The most crucial time to go through. I was working, taking care of my family. So I didn't understand like where the child support came from. So when I went to court, you know the judge called me a deadbeat dad, all these types of names. It really broke my pride. Because I was like, wow, I take care of my kids. Like, how are you leaving me like that? You don't even know me. So that three and a half months, you know, I just kept having kept having dreams. I always kept having dreams that my girl was cheating on me. So I used to write her letters. And, you know, I always tell her, you know, I'm sorry, so I'm accusing you or nothing. I'm just, it's just that I'm having these dreams, you know. I just miss you and the kids, wish I was home. Just can't wait to get up out of here, get back on my feet again, and hey, try to get up out, out this town. But you know, I was writing, writing her. She never, she never wrote me back. So I did a month and a half in the county. The county got full, so they sent me the work release. You know me, <clears throat> people say you can write to the water, and the water answer back. You don't tell me nothing like that. Water with my best friend. I let him know who Mr. Wood was up in the jail. I wrote to him for every problem. Because I said, hey, I need to work to get about this situation. I ain't these type of guys. Not, I'm not dissing brothers or none of that, but I ain't, I ain't that type of guy to be sitting in here. It's something I didn't do. So at the same time, put me in work release. Met a good friend of mine. We used to work together. at Klein Candy. So um, we were talking, I was still aggravated, I didn't understand a lot of things, and he was like, the reason why you sitting in here, he said, this is your time to get to know your heavenly father. He said, that's why you sitting in here. He said, so while you here, don't be like everybody else, take that time out to get to know him. I said, all right. So I took that time out to get to know my heavenly father, and all answers revealed. After I went to work release, I think two months later, first my friend got a Dear John letter. We call it a Dear John letter. The guy get a Dear John letter, he start crying. So we already know what that means. So I was like, damn, I'm laughing at him like, yeah, <laughs> see? He acted like he acted like that because he was acting like he was tight with his female, but he wasn't until he got the Dear John letter. So, um... I'm laughing. Hmm. <laughs> Two weeks later, I got the Dear John letter. The Dear John letter said, you know what? You was right. I did have somebody and everything. And, you know, I'm falling in love with this person and blah, blah, blah. I said, I was like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So those dreams were telling me I was right all the time. So I was like, now, I only had like, you could say a month and a half to get out of jail. Mind me, I was living with I was living with my girl. So I got deep into the Bible. They used to call me the Bible guy. The preacher man. I was always deep in my Bible. I didn't look at TV, got up, work out. Just always Bible 24-7, seven days a week. Because I was taking that time out to get to know my heavenly father. Because I wanted to understand what, what was that pure form of love that he was always talking about. 
so I just kept searching. So being in there, <clears throat> that happened. I'm asking my heavenly father, got a job at the same time. Finally got a job, keep on um, writing to the, um, you know what I mean? I just kept writing to the warden and I kept getting Lou, El I kept getting Lou Elmy. He's the guy to get the job. I kept getting him in trouble. So one day he came up in there, he's like, where Mr. Wood at? And I said, I'm right here. He's like, let me talk to you out in the hallway. He said, man, you getting me in trouble, man. Do, can anybody get him a job? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh -huh. See what I say? My name, here, you're gonna know my name up in here. So when that went on, you know, I'm asking my heavy father, I'm praying, I'm like, hey, I only got a month and a half to get out. How I'm gonna deal with her just being with somebody, my kids being around somebody else, it, it was so much, because remember, I was still in love with her. Daughter, I daughter was love, but I was still in love with her. And um, after I got out, you know, I, I kept, you know, kept praying, kept praying. One day I was walking to work. It was a nice sunny day, real beautiful. That sun, it was just something about that day and that sun. I kid you not. That day I walked to work. Everything was gone, like blacked out. It was like I never loved my kid mom. It was like I knew her, but I never loved her. I mean, all that pain was taken away. That's when I knew it was real. I knew that it was real, the power was real. My kid mom didn't understand it when I got out of jail. And you know, we would sit and talk, have coffee and stuff, but she didn't understand. She said, you know what? I thought you were gonna make a move at me, try to call me, let's meet up or something. She said, you didn't do that. And she said, I kept coming around for that. You didn't do that, why? I said, I said I'm not in love with you no more. And, you know, I was able to walk away. So that, that was the best thing. How he took that pain away. That was the most beautiful thing because I was wondering how can I get through that stomach that and I'm doing three and a half months, and this girl will move on behind me. Like, oh wow, the way we play ball over here. So it was a, it was a bug experience. So going through all going through all that, it was just to bring me close to my heavenly father. Because the love I was searching for, like I said before, I thought the love was from a female. But the love I was really searching for was his love, that love he always talk about. That love that it would just heal you. That love that you can heal others with. Like with a word, a touch, a hug. That's the love I was searching for. And when you search for that love, it is an art and it is war. Because you go through war, you go through scars, you go through battles, you get hurt between all different levels. Just to paint a beautiful picture. So yes, it is It is the art and it is war when you're trying to find that true love. And when you're trying to find that true love now, when you find that true love now, you have to balance it out because the way the world is now, it's hard to balance things out. So right now, as the world stops, it's, it's easy to balance everything out. There's no floors, the old don't lay the clothes up. The waters are clear now. People can see blue skies. I see blue skies all the time and it's very beautiful. Just to be able to see blue skies. Just to, ever to see, just to be able to see real clouds, not fake clouds, real clouds. You know, just to be able to fall in love every time you look up at the at the sun. And like, wow. Wow, this is beautiful. Everywhere you walk, you just fall in love with every day. And that's that type of love I was searching for. Because when you search for that type of love, imagine the love you can give to people. See, when you search for that love, that love don't make you evil, it make you strong. It just make you happy. It brings you back into that little kid again. So that type of love is so powerful. That's why when you look at a baby, that their love is so powerful. Sometimes you sit back and say, how can I get that again? How can I have that again? Nothing bother me no more. See, there was a lot of things I said in the, <clears throat> the people that had the books, quote unquote. But there's a lot of things that 
I know Christ spoke about meditation and how to do it and the right ways to come about it. I know he taught his disciples. He had to. So these things is not, see, these things did not enter into the book because if it was entered into the book, people would be on one level now. You see what I'm saying? So these things and texts would never enter into the book because it was always, it, it made you think meditation was just something stupid. Like just to make you feel happy, like a happy drug. So a lot of people that started teaching, they made it feel like it was a happy drug. And if you look at everybody that's teaching it, what they, are they teaching the way I'm teaching? Or are they breaking it down the way I'm breaking it down? No. I say you have to be gifted to, um, to order to do these things. I don't take no credit for nothing, and I never do. My Heavenly Father gave me the words to speak, so I only speak when he told me to speak. Like when I'm up and I'm waking up, I know it's time to work. So the first thing I, you know, I be sitting here and I just let the doors come to me and everything just come to me. Just like right now, I was just sitting here and everything was just coming to me. The art of thinking about the next book to write. It was like the art of, it just kept coming to me. I'm like the art of what? The art of love. Hmm. How would I break this down? We'll talk about the format of love. So talking about the format in love, once you have that pure love, you can love others with that passion. Your relationship becomes stronger. People think you can't wake up every day in love. See, I call it drunk in love because it is. You can wake up every day the rest of your life with the right soulmate that you can. Have you ever seen old couples, 70, 80 years old, still walk down the block holding hands? They sit on the porch together, they do everything together, why? You ask them, they will tell you what I'm telling you now. And just in life, we just choose the wrong one. We choose what we want to choose. It was always like a finance thing. So a lot of brothers got tricked. A lot of sisters got tricked because it was it was like trickery. When people knew how to um, manipulate love, they took it and they capitalized off of it. Just like people capitalize off these masses. People capitalize off of all these things. Look at all these masses that's made. Like for real, like who would capitalize off these things? Only the greediness. Just like people capitalize off these stimulant check on YouTube, making all these videos. But they don't even know what they're talking about. Everything was a capitalize. So then people, society put love out there to capitalize. They, this is how you can trick people. They say, love you, and you got them. So this is what society did. It, it's a capitalized thing. And as we sit back and like, wow. You know, people were capitalizing over love. They were even showing the pure form of love because the pure form of love, a person would show their heart no matter what. You can't hide that. The pure form of love, it's like you see a person, he's just always happy, she's always happy. You know, we call them happy-go-lucky people. I know we, everybody know that, brother and sister. We all said that to people. It is a happy-go-lucky person. Because, see, the reason why we said that because we wasn't awakened. See, when you awaken, that person's not happy go lucky. That person feeling the way you're supposed to feel. That love, that joy, loving himself. And just want to love others, just want to share his love and how it transformed him and, and made him a better person. Like how the pure form of love that would just change your whole world. People say you can't make a 360 in one day. Yes, you could. And I'm living proof. I made a 360 in one day. Trust me. The first time I ever seen jail, you ask my brother Blackstar, he'll tell you. <coughs> first time ever seen jail. I told him. He was in three days. Then, then I had to go to, <coughs> then I did a week in writing. Pardon me, drinking some water, clear my throat. It's early in the morning. So um, then I went to Rikers. But the three days we was in there, I told him this. I said, oh no. I said, yo, when I get out, I'm stopping everything. I'm stopping everything. I'm going legit. I said, I'm going 100% with this music. I 
uh-uh, this ain't for me, dude. I don't, uh-uh, I can't be caged like an animal, uh-uh. That stuff bugged me out. When I got out, I guess that's what I did. Like I said, when I left the street life alone, it almost brought me my life because it was a tough situation to make. When I got out, went to the spot, and I told him, I said, yo, man, I ain't doing this no more. He was like, what you mean? I said, you heard me. I said, I had enough, man. Nope. I said, I ain't doing this no more. Are you sure, Jamaica Gano? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh-huh, man. I'm just going to do this music. You know, but they respect that. They let me go. But they only they only let me go because they already they know where they can always find me at. You see what I'm saying? So it was that mutual respect thing. But it was a more respect thing because I was an honest person with them. Never did them dirty. Never crossed them. Always gave them information when they needed it. So it was a it was a very respectful level. Even though it was a hustler game, I still handled myself like a gentleman. I guess you could call me a street poet. That's the way I handle myself. So, people say you can't make a 360. Yes, you could. It's all about how, how bad you want it. You want to change your life, huh? You do anything to change your life. Trust me. You seek the high power to change your life. Like I said, sometimes you're heavily fought, but he got to crush you. Scar you, wound you, so you can come back to him. And once you come back to him, now he's going to teach you a lot of things about yourself, about loving yourself. And that's the most important thing is that you have to love yourself or you can never, ever love a woman. Same thing with brothers, sisters. You can never love a man if you don't love yourself. You got to have that pure form of love that when your heavenly father sends you that twin, your soulmate, your soulmate will pick it up right there. That's that pure form of love. When a person is gazing into your eyes, you're gazing into each other's eyes, thinking the same thing. Wow, I'm in love, I'm in love, but how can this be? I just met this person. Yeah, I just met this person. You see, that's the form of real love. People say love don't, love at first sight don't exist. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. It's just that people scared to speak their mind. When you don't speak your mind, you lose, you, you lose, you lose what you have you father sent you. Gifts are knocking at people's doors right about now. The love form of love searching is coming real, real fast. People don't understand it's coming so fast, it's gonna touch people in many ways. I said we back in the season. This is, you know, we went through revelation. Now we into Job. Brother and sister, you understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about Job. Now we in Job now. Everything that was stolen from, from you will be given what? Given back to you ten times fold. What mean what's been stolen from you? What the enemy took from you? Joy, peace, love, happiness. That's what the enemy stole from you. Now it's time to get it back. Now it's time to get everything back that's been taken from you. These are the things now to fight for. We cannot be in the street fighting for things that don't exist. Understand what we're doing. Right now, we're supposed to be teaching the younger generation how we can format different things in life. Like I said, the world's seen a lot of ugliness, but they've never seen the true form of love yet. That's why this book, Dream Do Come True, it's gonna show people, it's gonna make people, it's gonna show brothers and sisters, it's gonna make them believers like, wow, this dude went through so much and gained everything back, became rich. His audio books is just selling. This dude got the 100 acres, what he talked about. Everything he said he was gonna do, he did. And he got his queen. Would that make you search for everything in the world? Would that make you do what I'm doing? Is your brother?
brother abundant transformation body mind and soul the audio book the art of love stay blessed